Hi and welcome to another video. Today I would like to talk about changes to settings splash screen for Android from Android 12, API 31 and above. On the Flutter website we have this little document which specifies how to set up a theme for Android uh, and iOS splash screens. And in iOS it's all very simple. We, if you bootstrap the project you have this launch screen and you have this storyboard in it and you can just set up this storyboard, add there a label or whatever and this is it. In Android this time it's a little bit more difficult because there are changes across different versions. When you have to do it I recommend you to go into this article and read about how to set it up for Android but unfortunately this um, article doesn't cover everything so also go to the official Android documentation and also read this article about splash screens. And here you can see Google shows you how the new splash screen works. So you have the icon which is similar to the app icon just animated in the center it can be animated. And then there is one more thing that they don't show you that you can have branding down here. So let's jump to this article. And here you can see some images. There we go. How it would look like. So we have the icon, you have some background and you have the branding image on the bottom. Now in this article you can also see how different um, options are used. So we have this Windows splash screen background for setting the background of the whole screen. We have Windows splash screen animated icon. So with this you can change the icon that will be shown. If you don't set it then the default app icon will be shown here. The new thing is that this app icon can be animated over here as we've seen with the Gmail example. And finally down here you can see that we have this Windows splash screen branding image and this is the branding image that Google also recommends you to add to the new splash screen. If you're interested in all the options what you can do and how you can customize this splash screen then just go over here to the Android developers documentation and th here are all the fields described for you. But now let's jump into Android Studio and see how it works. So first of all we have the Android manifest and you can see here in the activity definition for Flutter we have this Android team specified which is the launch team. This launch team is then defined in the values. So we have values for light mode and we have values night for dark mode. And then you can see we have this launch team and this is the team that will be used to display a splash screen. So in the default bootstrapped project for Android you will see something like this when they will just reference here this launch background drawable. If we go to this drawable, then you can see we have nothing over here but they recommend you to use this item with bitmap and we can show a drawable in the middle of the screen. Notice that over here you have to set up the drawables for drawable directory and drawables v21 because there were certain changes in the Android level v21 so we now need to set two of them. However, this setup will not work for devices running on Android v31 and above. This is something that does not come covered with the bootstrap Flutter project. Here I have another project where I set it up for you so you can see how to do it. So now instead of having the values over here and values night I also have values and values night v31. That means these values will be used on Android API level 31 and above. I've also added this black cut which will be my branding. So as in the previous versions I have this launch background over here and I have just a black cut setup. This emulator on the right now is running an Android version 21, API version 21. So let's launch this launch screen on it. There we go. We got a cut in the middle of a screen which is defined with this bitmap over here. And then if we go to values you can see that I'm referencing just this launch background as it was done in the project from the beginning. Okay, now I have an Android device with an API 31 or above on my right. So let's run again. And you can see this was completely different. So we had the icon in the middle and we had the branding on the bottom. And this is exactly because in my values v31 over here I define it differently for the new API. So I have this background specified here which is a background light for the light mode and I have this cut set to this branding icon value over here. And that's all you need to do to make this work for Android on all kinds of devices. I hope this video will help you a little bit with setting up the splash screen. If you liked it please like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. But for now I called you to death. Bye bye.